Today we're going to share with you some of our dirty little secrets. Yeah, these are things people will be really surprised to hear. All right, our first dirty little secret, <laughs> Stacy doesn't really like people. Okay, that's partially true and partially not true. <laughs> I do like people. I like people a lot, but I really, really hate that phase of small talk, getting to know you, awkward first date kind of thing. <laughs> I'm a true introvert, so she is. I could be by myself forever. She is, and she really, really loves her alone time. <laughs> I mean, she'll go to a movie theater by herself. She'll go oh, to yeah. a restaurant by herself. Oh, easy. Me, not so much, no. So basically what he's saying is, I've been practicing for quarantine for COVID <laughs> my whole life. That's I'm great right. at that. Yeah, but it has really helped, the channel that is, has really helped break her out of that, you know, hide behind me while we meet people <laughs> um, phase. She, she's really gotten a lot better and, and I can see it and I know friends of ours have seen it as well. Yeah, for sure. I was the wallflower at a party. More than four, four people in the room, and I'm kind of hanging back, letting everybody else do all the talking. Oh, hold uh -oh, on, we hold have on. a boat. We, what we failed to mention is I love talking. I love meeting people. I could talk to this light post for hours. Well, maybe not for hours, but I could talk to it, is my point. Stacy, she just doesn't understand my gift of gab. I am thankful for it because it eases my burden of having to gab when I don't know what to say. But Bill's one of those people who will go in the grocery store and he'll talk to 10 different people in the grocery store, full conversations, standing beside the apples. Me, yeah. on the other hand, I go to the grocery store prepared. I have my list on my phone, my headphones in, a hat on, and I make sure I don't make contact, eye contact with anybody. <laughs> she just doesn't like talking. Well, I just don't like talking to people I don't know. So so once I get to know you and we're friends, I'm great. But I'm very awkward before that point. So, Oh, we got another one. Anytime we go to a rally or a big meetup, I'm telling you, that exhausts me. I sometimes have to at a rally. In the middle of the day, I will sneak away and go hide in the RV just for alone time and quiet time so I can kind of process a little bit. No, don't, don't let her fool you. She's left me standing <laughs> mid conversation with people, I'll turn around to say something to her and she's gone. She's like, she saw a squirrel and off she goes. I don't mean anything by it. It's just, <laughs> it's difficult for me. So if you see me, what we call in the wild, so out and about somewhere and you feel like I'm ignoring you or I'm not really talking to you, just know in my head, I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What do I say? That's why she has me. I guess I do <laughs> more than mouth. just, I do more than just drive the RV. Now I'm the conversation starter too. And I keep it going. He's always been the conversation starter. We probably would have no friends at all if it wasn't for this guy. <laughs> Our second dirty little secret is things don't always appear to be what they are on video. That's right. We might do a little fudge factor every <laughs> now and then. What what happens is, or as our kids say, what ha happened was... All the time. <laughs> is the clips get messed up. Either something is uh, messed up the sound, or we said the wrong thing, or... Or we forgot to film something that was imperative to the story. Or it was just dumb and we wanted a retake. <laughs> a lot of dumb retakes, yes. So if you're ever curious, one true telltale sign that we had to do a retake <laughs> and we're lying about where we are and what day it is, is Phil's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll finish that day and we'll put all our stuff in the dirty clothes hamper and the next day I'll make Phil go drag it out of the hamper and then he's all wrinkled. Yeah, so there's been many, many a shoots <laughs> that I had to go back into the dirty clothes hamper, pull out my shirt, and it might be a little wrinkled on video. So if you ever see that, or sometimes I'll have not shaved for a couple days and <laughs> yeah. then shaved and then we've had to reshoot. Now I've got a clean face. So those of you that have caught us before with that, 
you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, now you know why. So when this <laughs> happens, what we'll do is we will only record in front of our RV so you can't see any of the surrounding area or we'll record inside the RV so you can't see out the windows. That way we're not busted. Yeah, so if there's a video of us and it's wide open, boondocking, BLM land or whatever, and then all of a sudden you see the, the rig behind us, chances are we screwed something up. <laughs> and we screw up a lot. We do, hence our earlier videos and all the bloopers. So there's number two. And I don't know, I don't know why you stopped right next to it. No, I don't like snakes. Well, I don't like them either. And I definitely don't like stopping next to them. This is what we're gonna do. My pants. We're gonna back up and go real fast by them. Don't even look, just hit it full throttle. Okay. Bites my leg. Huh? If he bites my leg. I shouldn't have said anything. I know you were going to stop on it. Oh, he's going back. Come on. Let's go. It's so All right. scary. All right. So we're good. He's going away. So just hit it full throttle and go. Holy shit. That was so scary. Yeah, that was a big one too. I couldn't stop. I hit my brakes, but I wouldn't stop. Literally, I almost peed my pants. <laughs> like, I couldn't even <laughs> scream. <laughs> I was so scared. I can't, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I he know. He was big. He was like, what, four feet? Okay, yeah. he was 12 feet. Let's just be real. He was 12 feet long. He well, was the whole length of the street. <laughs> we'll, we'll let them be the judge when we put up the picture. But he's curved, so they won't be able to tell accurately. Yeah, they he was in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> you fraidy cat. I almost peed my pants from laughing. I'm surprised you didn't crash into me for I my sudden did. break. Oh, there comes a guy running. He would not have seen it. Oh, my gosh. All right, go. Maybe he's not scared like us. <laughs> okay, like me. I'm being swarmed by the bees now. Oh yeah, there's I'm, a nest right there. I'm telling you, the critters are going to get us. Dirty little secret number three. Happens to be, we are terrible YouTubers. Like, yeah. we really suck. Yeah. We, we like to put the camera down a lot. I mean, I know you don't believe it because we put out a video just about weekly, but when we're with friends and family, we put it down a lot. Well, almost always with friends yeah. and family, but we actually put it down a lot just when we're out and about. So we are YouTubers that come Monday when I start figuring out what's <laughs> going to go out on Saturday. A lot of times I have no idea. I have nothing recorded because we haven't recorded for weeks. Yeah, we were told early on in this YouTube process to not live through the lens of our camera. And we took that to heart and we literally, you know, sometimes we'll get to a place and we just want to enjoy it like everybody else. With the camera in our hand, we're always thinking about the next shot. Are, am I positioned right? Can they hear me? <laughs> Is the lawnmower going off? Do I need to turn? Or, you know, did I get this B-roll or whatever? And you, and you sometimes lose the moment. All of our YouTube friends that we know, they will have four to six months of backlog. Right now I have Four to six minutes have, yes. from what we've recorded today. Okay, you know? he is right about that. <laughs> and I'm going to turn, I'm going to stop and turn. And if he comes at me, then I'm just going to hit the throttle. I'm really going to hit the throttle. Phil, what the hell He's is not going to come at me. if it comes at me? You know what I mean. Dude, I cannot drive that rig, so you have to stick around. <laughs> I cannot have you, like, falling out and losing the leg. You're already broken up as it is. Well, let's just hope, though, that he grabs the bad leg then. <laughs> But that's your pedal leg. Uh, it is. It's all right. Oh, he's a big one too, babe. Oh, he's a big one. That does not instill confidence. <laughs> all right, now, hear me now. Don't do anything stupid. No, I'm recording no. this. There's a witness that you said you wouldn't. Yeah, no, I'm just going to I'm gonna ride by, and I'm going to angle the bike there and get him on film and then keep going. You, it wouldn't be better to hold it? Just hold um, this like well, I could, this I could try instead it. of putting it on the bike? Yeah, I can try it. You can Let's bike one-handed, right? Yeah. I can't, but you can. Let's try it. It's still recording. Oops. I'm, I hope it didn't get that. <laughs> I hope it did. I just fell off the edge of the concrete. Ah! You scared it. Holy shit, he scared me. Stacy scared it. He popped back up right there. All right, Florida's losing its appeal for me. <laughs> Look at, she's way up there. <laughs> and she rode over on the grass. Big old fraidy butt. That scared the crap out of me. Well, it, it when you're, um, when the tripod bounced. bounced, it scared him. All right, let's move on to our fourth 
dirty little secret. We don't want you to know where we are. So disregard this sign behind <laughs> it because this is where we are. Okay, so really it's okay if you know where we are, but we're not going to announce on social media our current location. So all of our social media stuff, including YouTube, will be at least two weeks behind and we will have already left that location. As you know, I've got a security background. That's what I did in the Navy. So to protect us, we just kind of keep a low profile until after we're gone and then you know where we are. So if you're in the RV park with us and you see us, we absolutely want you to say hi to us. We're not saying don't approach us. We're unapproachable. No. We don't want to meet you. Well, I might have a hard time meeting you, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I don't want to meet you. Um, so all we ask is send us an email. Yeah. So let us know you're there if you don't see us outside. Right. So if we're outside, you absolutely say hi. But send us an email. If you send something to us on Instagram or Facebook, more than likely we won't see it until we're gone. Yeah, so I mean... We do like to hang out and meet people. COVID is making it a little difficult yeah. um, because I'm a handshaker and we just can't do that right now. But, yeah, it makes it weird. But when you do see us in a video, it's probably something that we've already moved on from unless we're sitting someplace for a very long time. Yeah, And do please be advised, if you knock on my door at 7 a.m. <laughs> or before I put on a bra, I'm not answering the door. <laughs> If you knock on my door after dark, and that includes 11 p.m., I'm not answering the door. And yes, that has happened in the past. Right. And I've seen her run to the back of the rig <laughs> um, early in the morning if somebody's knocked on the door. Most of the times I'll answer just to, you know, make sure that there's nothing going on in the park. So, But we just want you to be aware and know if you knock on our door, why why I didn't answer the door. I probably was not dressed. I was in my, still in my jammies, and it really wasn't appropriate. And she hadn't made it to hair and makeup yet. <laughs> yeah, that and that takes a while. <laughs> yeah, yes it does. <laughs>Dirty little secret. We have a family dumbass necklace. <laughs> That's right. You heard that correctly. And we can only say that once because we do not want YouTube mad at us for cursing. That's right. So it's it was a slow evolving necklace and it, it came off of the um, here's your sign spoof. And it totally evolved <laughs> to your trophy. And then eventually when we were in Texas. I stumbled across a guy that made the copper names, um, you know, just kind of twisted your name out of copper wire. And I walked over to him after I walked past him and it just, the light bulb went off. And I said, I leaned over to him and I said, how much for a bleep bleep necklace? And he says, he chuckles and he goes, one word or two. <laughs> so I said, one. And he goes, 10 minutes, 10 bucks. So I had it in the house and I was trying everything I could to get somebody to mess something up, say something stupid, do something stupid. And then finally, my son mm -hmm. fell into the trap. He was not <laughs> thrilled about actually having to physically put on this dumb necklace. Yeah. So we actually did a presentation and, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, anointed him the first recipient. Um, and to this day, it is still in the family. Oh, it is. It is. When we were doing all of our purging, my son wanted three things. Yeah. He wanted our Harry Potter series. He wanted our Bose surround sound. Yep. And he wanted the dumb necklace. necklace. <laughs> and don't think our kids are traumatized by this by no. any means. That first one, Andrew was not very happy about. But don't you worry. They joined <laughs> in the fun. And my daughter told me to make sure and let you guys know she doesn't need Oprah. She doesn't need Dr. Phil, that she has just as much fun with it as we do. Yeah, and you know, the one thing to know about our family is we're, we're just a family of cut-ups. We joke around all the time. Um, so if, if you've known us for any length of time, that's just who we are and what we do. And in case you're wondering, the one with the most wears or the most awardee, biggest awardee, I don't know, you know what I'm trying to say, is actually the guys in our family. So yeah. Phil and Andrew, some of the, the funnier times people have been awarded this necklace was when Phil, we were going to Europe a few years ago and Phil kept forgetting or didn't know what something was called and he kept telling everyone we were going to a brothel when we got to Europe. 
Finally, my daughter was like, and I didn't hear this, but my daughter was like, Dad, you're going to a brothel? And he was like, yeah. And she said, I hope you mean a hostel. <laughs> now you know, brothel, hostel. <laughs> so yes, Phil got the necklace for that incident. And then <laughs> another time, Phil and I were training for uh, marathons. He trained for a full marathon. I trained for a half. So after we were all done, you know, we were all proud. We got our, our shirts from the run. And so Phil put his on and right in the center, really small was 26.2. So we trained for this race for a good four to six months. Yeah, if not and, longer. And it like took over our lives. So my daughter walks by with when Phil has this shirt on and she says, Dad, what radio station is that? <laughs> I couldn't get the necklace on her quick enough. That I day. laughed so hard I almost hit the floor. Yeah. So now you know a family secret. So that's it for our five dirty little secrets. Of course, we have a lot more secrets, but we can't share everything. <laughs> that's right. We don't want to lose subscribers by the <laughs> dozens. Oh, there's another one. Another boat. So before we let you go, though, we did want to let you know that we're starting something new. A couple weeks ago, we did our first ever Zoom call with, what, four? Four. Four couples, and it was fabulous. We had a terrific time. Yeah, they were, they were picked at random. Um, you know, we sent out an email after we picked their, their, their name or their email address and uh, they all rogered up. They were excited to do it. It lasted about an hour and it just gave us an opportunity to talk, um, you know, in a smaller setting. Yeah. So everybody had a chance to, to talk instead of just sitting and listening to us, yeah. which was really, really nice. So if we do a large Zoom call like with 100 people or when we're doing a YouTube live, you know, it's always a one way conversation and we really like the back and forth. I know it sounds weird to hear me say say me talking to somebody but it is really cool to hear about other people's experiences you know in the rv space that was our kind of our our test bed those were our guinea pigs oh for sure um, to see how well it would go and and you know how well received it was going to be and man was it it was a success yeah um so because that was a success we're going to do it a little bit more often. And Stacy has put that information in one of her newsletters or blogs. Newsletters. So yeah. the way we're going to do it is we are going to pick people who sign up every month from the newsletter. So um, if you haven't joined the newsletter yet, it's a great time to join our newsletter. Um, if you want to do a Zoom call, you will have to uh, sign up each month. So I'm going to put the date and the time on it so you'll know if you're available for that date and time. Um, that way it just eases up the emails that go back and forth for if people have plans or whatever. So um, we would love to talk to you guys and hear about your experience. So, so sign up for a Zoom call. We might yeah. pick you. I'll put the link down below for that and anything else we've mentioned, any other uh, videos or channels or whatever, I always like to put those down in the description so you guys can check them out later. Thanks a lot for watching. Of course, you know the normal things. Hit the subscribe button, join our newsletter, find Give us, us on our village, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You guys know <laughs> the drill by now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know why not because you really need to. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I, it's baffling to me that everybody has not subscribed. So subscribe, please. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on, on the, the road. road. Because you watched the entire video, I'm giving you a bonus secret. Oh yeah, and it is all about Phil. He just got out of the shower and you would think, mm, I use all the gel in the house. I use no gel. Phil uses more product on his hair than I do. But wait, that's not all. What are, you, what are you doing? So Phil, <laughs> let me turn off our fans so you can hear. Phil, can I do my hair? Why are you Phil will not me? travel without the blow dryer. See his little crazy military haircut, his flat top. It doesn't stand up all on its own. <laughs> Show the people what you do every day. <laughs> you dork. So I put mousse in it. And yep. I use no product. Because if I don't, it doesn't stand up. So here's my little handy dandy comb, my finger comb. Older fellas will know what this is. And then I hit it with a little heat. We're always having to turn around and come back all the time to get our cameras. <laughs> yeah. It takes us twice as long to do anything. We got a beautiful story.